Hello, care colleagues. My name is Vidya Sriram, and I am the Global Director for VSLA Programming at CARE. CARE has reached over 13 million people through village savings and loan associations over the past 30 years. CARE currently has VSLA programming in nearly 60 countries across Sub-Saharan Africa, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and now Latin America, reaching a total of 13 and a half million people as of 2021. CARE forms more VSLAs than any other organization, about 40% of the market share of VSLA groups in existence today. These groups save on average $650 million per year and we reach about 100,000 of those people through CARE's digital group registration and savings app, Chamoka. Nearly 25% of our groups are youth savings groups comprised of adolescent and young adult members. So what is a VSLA? A VSLA is a self-selected group of about 20 women who save together and take small low interest loans from those savings. The group is self-managed and they elect their own chairperson, treasurer, secretary, record keeper, and money counters. CARE helps form, train, and coach these groups in financial management. But this is a trust-based platform for savings and lending. The women in the groups, not MFIs or money lenders, are in control. And because they are neighbors and family members, they are invested in what happens to each other which is why we have nearly a 99% repayment rate on loans. A little bit about how this cycle works. Groups come together over a nine to 12 month cycle, and there are about four to five core steps. Members in a VSLA save through the purchase of shares, anywhere between one to five shares every meeting. The share value is decided by the members themselves and documented in the constitution when the group is formed. The loan fund is comprised of share money and loan profits from interest, and all the members have the right to borrow up to three times their value of their shares. The loans are taken from the collective savings, which the groups have deposited in the cash box, and the loan recipient is given a set amount of time in which to repay the loan. Members who take loans must also pay a small, amount, a, a small amount of interest on the loan, depending on how much they borrow. The interest accrued by the VSLA during the course of one year is shared out among members. A very impo important component of the VSLA is the social fund, which enables the group to help cover unexpected financial emergencies, like if a group member has a death in the family, Customary funeral expenses can often wipe out a family's financial reserves. Women who are in VSLAs have the opportunity to tap into the social fund for support with repayment defined by the group's constitution. So what makes VSLA such a powerful platform? Savings has been defined by the UN as one of only three things that work anywhere in the world to support women's economic empowerment. And this is why CARE has decided VSLAs are a scaling approach that we will scale globally over the next decade. Savings is proven to support women's economic empowerment universally, but we know that it contributes to empowering women at all stages of their life. For young children whose mothers are in these groups, they stay in school longer and get more nutritious food at home. For adolescent girls, being part of savings groups means they can delay marriage and gain confidence, as well as critical financial literacy skills. For adult women and mothers, having an additional source of income means they gain influence within the household and can invest in their children's education, as well as their own enterprises. And for older women who are often widowed, belonging to a savings group means they have a network of neighbors, family members, friends, who they can lean on for support while also building a safety net for savings to manage future shocks. This is key. VSLAs are so distinct from institutional microfinances that VSLAs evolve over time based on the members' needs and aspirations. In 2019, 
CARE launched an ambitious plan to exponentially scale the pace of VSLA formation to go from reaching 10 million people at the time to reaching 62 million people by 2030, 80% of them women and girls. Now, if you do the math, we reached 10 million people over 30 years. So to reach 62 million people in the next decade requires a completely different approach than care forming all of these groups ourselves. Our vision is to not just deepen how VSLAs are used within care zone programs, but to also form VSLAs through third party scalers. Specifically, we're betting the governments and agribusinesses that source their products from communities have a vested interest in working with women in VSLAs. VSLAs have been shown to be platforms for community mobilization. And given that 70% of the world's producers are women, VSLAs are also an effective way to reach and economically empower women in those communities. Our hypothesis is that by supporting national governments to form VSLAs through their social protection and financial inclusion programs, funded by organizations like the World Bank and EFAD, we can really help increase the reach of government services to communities and support women in those communities to access financial resources through VSLAs. Another avenue for scale is through private sector partners. CARE has a strategic partnership with companies like Mars and Cargill, who source much of their products like cocoa, mint, and tea from places like Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire in India, where again, women represent the bulk of the farmers in these communities but don't often benefit economically from the income generated by those uh, enterprises. We are working with Mars right now to address the health and sustainability of communities by investing in women in VSLAs who have shown to have impacts on the community as a whole, from the nourishment of the family to reductions in child labor. Women in VSLAs support community health. We have found that in communities where care is working with Mars's suppliers like Olam and Chuton, those suppliers are seeing the need for VSLAs and forming them themselves. CARE has also adapted the VSLA model in complex emergency settings. We've done this by developing methodology that combines cash and voucher assistance provided in humanitarian contexts with VSLA formation. CARE isn't the first organization to try to adapt VSLA programming in emergency settings, but we are the first to have successfully piloted and implemented the model at scale in Yemen, Syria, Turkey, and Jordan. Our initial findings show that women in Yemen, for instance, are saving up to 50% of their cash assistance and also supporting the broader community with their savings. If we can influence actors like the World Food Program and UNHCR to take up the model, we can reach millions of people in crisis with much needed financial resources that support their recovery and resilience. Finally, across all of our streams of work, we are supporting women to access digital tools to close the digital financial gap. As people and governments increasingly transact and communi communicate over phones, it's critical that women have access to those phones as well, including the relevant content that can support their productive capacities and have the supportive social context that will enable them to use that phone as they need. The VSLA team has developed what we call the digital care package, which supports women to access phones, teaches them digital literacy and how to access relevant content and creates the awareness and messaging around the benefits of female mobile phone ownership in households and communities. Now we've seen incredible gains from VSLA is being a platform for many of our food security programs. The Livelihoods for Resilience program in Ethiopia, for, existence, for example, combines VSLAs with cash transfer programming to reach uh, a group of participants who rely on food assistance six to nine months out of the year. And what we have found is that the combination of VSLAs and food security interventions has increased food security by 80% and increased incomes by 84%. A similar program in Bangladesh, the Shuhardo program, combines VSLAs with a food and nutrition package as well as uh, gender equity. 
and we've seen a 49% decrease in hunger in communities participating in the program. We've also seen a 37% increase in the impact of Shuhardo overall at a time when there has been a near 200 fold increase in VSLA formation at the same time. Finally, in Tanzania, we are combining the VSLA methodology with the farmer field and business school methodology. And we've already found that in communities adapting both of these approaches, there's a two and a half percent or two and a half fold increase in the adoption of climate smart practices and a one and a half fold increase in soybean production in groups that combine VSLA and farmer field and business school methodologies. We have also done a survey of women in groups during COVID and found that resoundingly women in groups are experiencing the impacts of COVID much less than those who are not in VSLAs. For instance, the impact of livelihoods and food insecurity on women in VSLAs is half to a third what it is for people not in VSLAs. And most notably, the impact of mental health, gender-based violence um, is near non-existent for women in VSLAs, where it's a significant impact for people not in VSLAs. As the VSLA team continues to scale its global scaling plan, we are planning to prioritize a few things for 2022 and 2023. We're forming a VSLA cohort, which will be a cadre of trainers who will support care and external partners to form VSLAs with a view towards gender equity. We are testing and scaling the digital care package, including expanding our Chamoka app to reach VSLA members and to increase the effectiveness of our interventions. We are also studying the replication of VSLAs by groups themselves. We already know that for every VSLA care forms, one forms organically, and we want to know how uh, these groups are forming and functioning. And we're also refining our monitoring and evaluation systems to better track VSLA performance across a range of outcomes. And finally, we're developing the tools and models that will enable, enable replication of the model across third-party scalers. For more information on CARES VSLAs, please visit our CARE Shares page or our workplace site, which is our Facebook site, and any of our other resources you can find on our CARE Shares place. Thank you for joining us and welcome to CARE.